Hey guys, Luca here. Welcome to my first PvE build for the Blackwood chapter. Here we have my juicy stamina necromancer with a classic 2H dual setup. I only passed on this kind of setup just because they didn't really change class oriented stuff, which means my two old setups, which are a double do build and a double bow build, are probably still the same. If you want to check it out, I will post the video in the description below. Before the pass, if you want to support my work, <laughs> sub my channel, leave a like and a comment would be great guys. But now enjoy the 2H dual pass, after I will show you the build showcase. Have fun my friends. Here we go with the pass, start with Archer, then Blast Bones into Meteor. Trap, Deadly Cloak with Randing, Blast Bones, Siphon and Wrecking Blow. Use Blast Bones after every third skill. Just an example, like here, Blast Bones into Wrecking Blow, into Wrecking Blow, and then use Blast Bones again. So you basically use Blast Bones in combination with two skills and then you replay Blast Bones again. Keep this rotation up until 31%. Then you drop Wrecking Blow, Running Slashes and Blast Bones. Use only Executioner with Siphon, Archer, Cloak and Trap. And of course with the Ultimate. It's quite simple right? And strong as you can see. But now enjoy the pass.
Let's take a look on the build, like I said before, just small changes in the patch, still with 5 Relicant on the body, Kinras on the front bar with a 2H sword in precise, with the double dot poisons, and here we have the only relevant change in terms of gear, the new mythic item Harpooner's Wedding Kilt which gives us 10% more crit damage and almost 6% more crit with 10 stacks. You will gain those stacks with direct damage, so you basically have to change nothing in your rotation. But watch out, you will lose 5 stacks if you get hit by direct damage. Accordingly, avoid those red circles on the ground guys. On the back bar, still the Black Rose Prison Daggers, both infused with one poison and one flame damage enchant. Why flame damage? Since last patch they have implemented a new blue passive CP called Flawless Ritual, which increases the chance to apply magical status effects by 60%. So it's actually over 2k more single target thanks to this passive. Uh, so use it guys. And on uh, the helmet, one slime crown for extra crit. But Necros got a little nerfed sadly, the passive death knell gives only 4% crit in execute each skill slotted instead of 10%, that's why I used the Thief Mundus instead of the Shadow. In terms of skills, nothing has changed, Executioner our execute, which we use at 31%, Blast Bones a powerful class skill, similar to sub training from the warden wrecking blow our spammable siphon a strong dot which gives us three percent more flat damage while slotted archer another dot it also gives 200 more stamina region dawnbreaker for extra weapon damage on the back bar rending slashes a dot deadly cloak for extra six percent more damage thanks to the black rose prison dual weapons it gives major evasion too and deals quite a amount of good damage. Barbed Trap for minor force. Camouflage Hunter for extra weapon damage thanks to the fighter skill passive. If you have sustain issues you could use uh, Consuming Trap instead. It's more or less the same DPS. Then again Siphon just for the passive. And there's Ultimate Meteor for extra burning. It deals like 1 to 2k more DPS than Dawnbreaker. In raids, you have to use probably Colossus instead for major vulnerability, but on the dummy, we already got this OP debuff. I'm in Danma here. Kaji did similar damage, Orc is fine too. It did only 1 to 2k less DPS. As Mundus, like I said before, the Thief Mundus instead of the Shadow to compensate the crit loss. As buff food, the lava food soup, the green max stamina food. Uh, this one is a bit stronger, but only if you can sustain it, of course. Depends on the ray, depends on the boss. As potions, this one, or the minor heroism potions, if a DK in the group can slot molten armaments for the major brutality buff. But then you have to slot camouflage hunter for major savagery, otherwise you will lose 12% crit. CP wise, nothing has really changed. Blue CP's backstabber, if you can't flank the enemy, use mastered arms instead, a new blue CP, which gives us 10% more direct damage, then fighting finesse, deadly aim, and thaumaturge. Red CP's, rejuvenation, Boundless Vitality, Slippery and Ironclad. That's it for the video, I hope everything is clear. If not, type your questions down below, I'll try to answer them as fast as possible. Stay tuned for a ton of more PvE builds. I will probably upload one or two builds for each class, except for Magpla, just because I've never played it. Maybe I can find someone who can pass for me, we'll see. Other than that, thanks for watching and the support, have a nice day, stay healthy and 
See you. Ciao, ciao.